the single most important ingredient of learning to become influential, of learning to affect others with your words, I'll stand up here for this one, is understanding the difference between what I want to say, what you need to hear. This sounds wonderful here, abstract in this audience, but I guarantee when you arrive home tonight and the door opens into your house or your apartment, and as you walk through, your partner says, you're late, you're always late. In this moment, what I want to say, what you need to hear, become very far apart. And in this moment, you have a choice. But many don't take this choice. Many follow the strategy of I'd like a terrible weekend making up for two seconds where I couldn't recognize there's a difference in what I want to say, what you need to hear. And if you the most powerful word that you can learn when you start to feel emotion jump. Because when emotion jumps, intelligence drops. If you feel inside yourself a chute, a Spanish word for a, a surge in emotion, I want you to practice using the word interesting. <laughs> so tonight, we can... work on this one. Tonight, you arrive home a few minutes later than you had agreed. You smile because you've fought the traffic to get home quick. You open the door. It opens. There's a face there with a bit of a grimace saying, you're late. You're always late. What are you going to say? Good. You get to work tomorrow. Your boss says, where's that report? I thought it was ready. What do you say? <laughs> Good, you're ready. This word, interesting, gives you time to make a more conscious decision between what I want to say and what you need to hear. There are days you will still decide it's worth it. Yeah, enjoy it. Have a good fight. But there's a few more weekends that we spent in a sense of connection, intimacy, and love. There'll be a few more meetings at work that quickly move on to looking at what do we do? Where do we go from here? How do we use what we've got? We'll become resourceful rather than looking at who screwed up to get us here. So my gift for you is the word interesting to give you that moment of choice between what I want to say and what you need to hear.